Hello beautiful souls, thank you for joining me today for this beautiful Twin Flame reading. It's Tuesday the 6th of December 2022, so we're building up big time now for that full moon in Gemini, which is tomorrow. And if you haven't already, go and check out that reading, um, because that will help you understand of what you're actually working through, how you're feeling during this time, and what this full moon in Gemini is bringing for you and also the December readings up if you're interested too. So for this reading today, I'm gonna to be using the Archangel Animal Oracle deck to get started. And then I'm gonna use a selection of other decks as well and I'll show you as I'm going through when I get to them. Um, I'm gonna start with the Divine Masculines to see what their current energy is, how they're feeling, what they're experiencing today and i'm going to get some communication from the divine masculine's true self what they want to show and express to the divine feminines and then i'm going to go on to the divine feminines to see what the divine feminines are working through how they're feeling what they're experiencing what their current energy is too so let's see what's going on today for the divine masculines i do hope all of you are well and you are you know in this place of in your truth staying focused believing and trusting in what you already know thank you to all of you for the love and support that you give me i am so very grateful to each one of you and if you are new to my channel i do use the labels divine feminine divine masculine because that's how i channel please don't be offended just put it into your situation how it resonates with you i do realize it's just energy so let's see what's coming through today for the divine masculines what they're working through what they're experiencing for their feeling what is their current energy? Nice, clear message. Whale, well, live as fully conscious, live as a fully conscious being, and it's Archangel Mary and Jules. So this is about the divine masculines being in their truth, being aware, they're awake. They're observing everything that's going on within themselves and around them. <laughs> they're not asleep and particularly today they're living their life to the fullest and at the bottom of the deck is loyalty which is dog <laughs> be disciplined in your home and community life and it's archangel zariel zariel and as i said dogs are all about loyalty so they are being loyal to themselves being real being the love that they are and embracing life today and that's why they're feeling this joy, enthusiasm. They're choosing to do what feels good for them. So I'm going to use the daily guidance from the angels, this beautiful deck, next, to see what else was coming through. So we know the Divine Masculines are awake. They're observing. They're living their life to the fullest. They're in this high vibration. What else do we need to know about the divine masculines? And to be able to do that is showing the divine masculines are of being in the present moment. They really are focusing on what's happening right now and putting themselves first. And for them to be in this vibration, you know, they're, they're using the tools to help them work through things that they have to deal with it with their everyday life they're putting themselves first and they're showing this commitment particularly today so what else is it that we need to know about the divine masculine's current energy how they're feeling what they're experiencing nice clear message please oops i got all over the place let's do that again Have confidence. <laughs> They're having more confidence within themselves. Feeling good. Feeling content. And at the bottom of the deck is listening. Yeah, the listening, as I said, observing. They're listening to their intuition, trusting 
and they're observing and listening what's going on around them as well. They're open to these signs and synchronicities to guide them. And they've been pushed to have this confidence and they're feeling this confidence. And to feel confidence, we have to be comfortable with who we are. Self-acceptance again, coming through. So they're listening to themselves, what feels good for them. And your divine masculine could have lacked confidence, low self-esteem in the past. That is all changing. So this is a massive breakthrough for the divine masculines, having this confidence. When we've got confidence, we can keep moving forwards. We have the strength to work through anything when we're believing and trusting in ourselves with this confidence. So next I'm going to use the Angel Answers Oracle deck, this beautiful deck, and then I'm going to go on to the communication. So what else is it that we need to know about the Divine Masculines right now in this moment, what's their current energy, how they're feeling, what they're experiencing today? If any of you guys would like any extra support, all the information about the services I offer is in the description box down below. And in January, in the month of January, I'm going to be offering a free 45 minute private reading when you purchase a phone session, your first phone session. So like I said, if you're interested in that, everything that you need to know is in the description box down below. So let's see what's coming through, what else wants to come through today. For the Divine Masculines. It's up to you, yeah, up to you. Taking responsibility, they know it's up to them. <laughs> when they have this confidence in themselves, they can make the changes that they're longing for and they are making the changes and ask for help from others and they're asking for help which goes with live as a fully conscious being they're awake to this support this guidance this warmth this love from higher power which is also contributing to this confidence They've had this realisation that they have got the whole world in their hands and they can live their life how they choose to live their life. They can have their dreams and desires and go for what they love, what they have passion for. When they're feeling good about themselves, when they're in this high vibration and as I said, they're aware of what to do to help them get be in this vibration, of what's going on within them, how they're feeling because how we are feeling, what energy we're in, this vibration is radiated out into the universe and they're making this their priority to make themselves feel good. And being aware of what's going on around them as well is showing that they're using discernment, they're putting healthy boundaries in place when it's necessary so they can experience joy and this fulfillment. And Acceptance, responsibility combined is so powerful. We create these huge, massive shifts. And then we're showing that we're open to receive and that we're happy and content with what is and the whole of ourselves. That we are in our heart space. And we've let go of the old stagnant energy that we've been holding on to. Of what we've believed about ourselves and how we felt and viewed life. Perceptions completely changed. So now I'm going to go on to the communication from the Divine Masculine's True Self and we can pick up the energy through the communication to the divine feminines as well, what they're you know what they're experiencing today, and I'm going to be using this beautiful deck, the silence from beautiful Liz from Guide by Angels. So what is it that we? So what is it the divine masculines would love to share and express to the divine feminines from their true self? And this deck that I'm using is so special for you guys that are experiencing um, 
silence from the order by Mars again. So let's see what's coming through, what's going on with your divine masculine, what they want you to know and share with you what they want to get off their chests. Divine feminines. So let's see. I'm not ignoring you, I'm working out what to say. Hmm. And they know it's up to them. They know it's down to them to communicate with you. But they want you to know also that they're not ignoring you. They're working out what to say because, as I said recently in the readings, this is coming through big time, the communication. They know that this communication is going to be so different it isn't, and it is so important because you are in your power. You're understanding what this journey is about. You're learning more and more to remain in your truth and to put yourself first. And this is why this is coming out for the Divine Masculines, because you are focusing on yourself. They know it's down to them to reach out and communicate from their true self to you, showing you the changes that they've actually made. And you will notice a remarkable change with your divine masculine because they're feeling more confident with themselves because they are awake and because they're taking this responsibility it's going to be so different what they're going to be saying to you i'm learning who i am yeah i'm learning who i am i'm being comfortable with who i am gaining confidence i'm reflecting on my life so they're thinking about you know really reflecting on them and what's important to them what makes them feel good and they're changing things that need to be changed, that don't make them feel good. Their focus is to experience joy and happiness in their life. So they're feeling more worthy. The age gap makes me anxious, but doesn't turn me away. So there could be an age gap between you and your divine masculine. And they want you to know it makes them anxious, but that isn't the reason what turns them away. And that, if that doesn't resonate, there could be some kind of, you know, the difference, there's a difference between you. And actually, being on this journey, what you realise is none of that matters. Because all that matters is this deep, unexplainable love that you feel for each other, this unconditional love. And you're moving away from the beliefs of, you know, about ages, you know, you can only be this age to have a relationship, you're not allowed to be this age, blah, blah, blah. Or you can't have a relationship with somebody because of this, because of that. You're moving away from that and focusing on unconditional love. You're changing things up. And by what you're, and by what the Divine Muskins and the Divine Feminines are both going through, you're clearing these old patterns of having, you know, this love with all these conditions it has to be like this and it has to be like that you're breaking free from that and you're setting an example you're being this role model and that is so healing to this world you're both coming out of the comfort zone and trusting the love so if you are a divine feminine that is watching and you are, you do feel insecure about the age or you think that you know it's put your divine masculine off that isn't the case it makes them anxious but it's definitely not turning them away so next i'm going to use my deck message from your divine masculine's true self and then i'm going to go on to the divine feminines to see what's going on with the divine feminines today what else is it the Divine Muskins would love to share and express to the Divine Feminines? Nice clear message, please. Every time I think of you, my face hurts so much because I can't stop smiling. <laughs> so when they think about you, they have those moments of just like, they're thinking about those times that you spent together and just thinking about you. <laughs> Everything about you makes them smile so much it makes their face hurt. <laughs> That's so cute, that message. Allow yourself to feel my love because it's so pure. So allow you, they're saying, allow yourself to feel this love because it is pure. And we do try and push this love away when we get disconnected, when we come out of our truth, 
because of we get caught up what's going on in the 3D. We try and push it away and we don't allow ourselves to feel this love because we feel we feel as if we're going to get let down or we feel as if it's going to be taken away from us. We're protected, we, we put this layer over our heart, we block our heart because we're frightened of feeling this love so deeply because of rejection, abandonment and we, again we think it's going to be taken away from us and it's never going to come back. So we don't feel safe loving our divine masculine because of the outer circumstances, because it's not, you know, like what we call the soulmate relationship, because it's not comfortable, because it doesn't make sense in loving your divine masculine, because it feels so painful. That is because you're having this relationship with yourself and your divine masculine reflects back your fears, your wounds, the pain that you've been holding in within you, so you can clear it. So it is so different from any other relationship that you've ever had in your life because it is with yourself. You're facing yourself. And by you facing yourself, Divine Feminines, that is what your Divine Masculine is doing too and that is coming through. We have to ignore what's going on in the 3D and trust our intuition, trust that love, that that knowing that you have within you no matter what is going on because this love is pure, it's divine. You're meant to be with each other and you're in this preparation clearing things that no longer serve you so you can come together and just focus on the love no matter what the circumstances are. As I said earlier, you're, you're pushing through and seeing through the illusions by putting love into the situation. So I feel safe feeling this love because it's pure, so allow it. Don't put, don't block your heart because of what the ego is feeding you and because of outer circumstances. I long to hold you in my arms. Yeah, they long to hold you in their arms. They want this closeness with you. And I'm allowing myself to love you now. There you go. Allowing coming through twice in this reading. They're allowing themselves to love you now. They're being honest. That's why they know it's up to them to come forwards and show you their true authentic self, to be real with you to show you how they truly feel. They're not pushing this away. They're facing it and allowing themselves to feel. And that makes them feel alive. It makes them feel so excited about life. The same as what it does for you, Divine Feminines, but then we feel it and then we push it away again. Because it's like, no, no, we're ready to protect ourselves because we think it's all gonna go wrong or we've shown something, something happened and it's just like, no, no, I'm not allowing myself to feel this love anymore because I've got it wrong. All of those situations, those things that, that, you know, that happen in the 3D, it's all pushing you to trust yourself no matter what, to see through the pain, to see the bigger picture, to put love into the situation, not assuming things coming you know having these assumptions about the situation it's about opening yourself up and bringing this flexibility in as well not being so set in your ways your whole beliefs and all of that is completely changing so let's see what comes through for you divine feminine so i'm, so I'm going to be using the archangel animal oracle deck for you divine feminines now let's see what your current energies, how you're feeling, what you're experiencing, what you're working through to help you stay in that place of truth. And when you're in your truth, allowing yourself to feel this love, focusing on yourself. There's too many guys, about 10 fell out. Um, that is where your divine masculine is. <laughs> it's when we're viewing the person as separate from us that it all goes wrong. Let's see what's coming through for the Divine Feminines. Nice, clear message, please. Oh, 
hyena dare to be different and I, that's come through in this reading when I've said you know you and your divine masculine are working through things in this preparation and realizing that actually there is no you know there is no this difference or the, the thing that you thought that was in the way of you and your divine masculine being to, together you're pushing through that you're actually daring to be different and being more comfortable and confident within yourself to find feminines and at the bottom of the deck is kingfisher be patient and focused and you're learning this patience how important it is to be patient staying with focus staying in your truth and when we're in you know when we're being patient and focused it's showing that we're trusting in divine timing and patience is a big one on this journey to let go of control because we do want to control we want to know when how where when we're trusting we're peaceful we know that it's going to happen in divine timing and we're not worried you know we, we know it's happening and that's it so it, we show this patience but we do get challenged with that again like i said with the communication from the divine muskings where things that happen and, that, and that's just like ah oh, you know I'm, I'm done with this so you're daring to be different which is you accepting that you're unique you're magnificent and so significant to this world as you are right now that you're perfect just the way you are you're learning to see yourself through the eyes of god through the eyes of love you are coming out of your comfort zone. You're not going along with things because of society or what you've been told that you should be doing. You're being different and embracing that. So next I'm going to use the daily guidance from your angels for you divine feminines. What else is it that we need to know about the divine feminines? They're working through what's their current energy happening what they're experiencing nice a clear message please <clears throat> giving and receiving so you're bringing balance you're feeling this balance more and more of giving and receiving you're learning to give to yourself and by giving to yourself you're able to give so much more to others. You're allowing yourself to receive. You're in this vibration of feeling worthy, feeling good enough to actually receive. And receiving is a tough one because we think that we're open to receive and actually we're not. We're not comfortable receiving because we're putting, we put restrictions on how that we're gonna receive, which shows that we are blocked. You may have believed that you have, you know, that you have to do so much before you actually receive. And that isn't you being in your truth. That isn't the truth. You being you, feeling comfortable, you being you, being the love that you are, is enough. You're making your main focus to yourself, giving this unconditional love to yourself looking after your well-being is showing that you're ready to receive that your heart is open and again it goes back to you can give so much and for some time you could have there could have been you could have been really out of balance you was over in a certain area of your life so divine feminines you could be feeling more balance in your life particularly today and if you're not, this is a message of, you know, sh showing you that something is out of balance and this giving and receiving is so important. And it's pushing you to be different if you're not feeling this as well. So again, put it into your situation, how it resonates with you and it's time to go. Hmm. It's time to go. It's time for you to come out of your shell and show the world who you truly are. Be daring. Keep charging forwards because it's time to go and leave that old behind. So let's see what comes up with the angel answers. What else do we need to know about the divine feminine today? What they're working through, what they're experiencing, how they're feeling. 
we know that they're learning about balance or feeling this balance today daring to be different going for it what else do we need to know about the divine feminines right now in this one a nice clear message please no need to worry there's no need to worry everything is falling into place everything is how it should be right now and the bottom of the deck is within the next few months so when that comes through this is just showing you there is going to be so much change within the next few months so much is changing because you are moving forwards you're daring to be different and you're bringing this balance into your life you're going with the flow so much more and at the moment you could be thinking how is this going to work how is that going to you know or you could be worried about one particular thing about your well-being about your job about your finances about your divine masculine family members there's so many different things i can mention there's nothing to worry about so make your focus and having this balance giving and receiving to look after yourself and within the next few months you're going to realize um that that hasn't you know there hasn't been anything to worry about so don't stress yourself what is important is what you know your well-being looking after yourself and having this balance going with the flow trusting and believing in yourself and all of that is daring to be different anyway because on this journey none of it makes any sense to anybody else around you as well and that is a struggle at times you feel so alone and you may not have anything to show for you know the, the changes that you've made and other people can all they can see is that you're crumbling and you know that things don't seem to be working out for you because you're being you're daring to be different rise above that see through that it's time to leave that behind and it, there is nothing to worry about. You are on the right path. So take care of yourself and make that your main focus. So thank you so much for joining me today for this beautiful Twin Flame reading. I do hope it resonates and it's helped you understand what's going on with the Divine Feminines and the Divine Masculines. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day or evening, wherever you are, wherever you're living in the world. And if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe, like and share because it really does help my channel grow. And I'm sending you all so much love, my support, my strength and light. And I love you all so very much. See ya. Oh, what's your soul saying? Oh.